What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and today we are checking out the FQ 777's FQ40. It is a Wi-Fi FPV hard remote and phone app controlled altitude hold RC quadcopter ready to fly. So let's open up the box and check it out. All right, here are all of the contents that came out of the box. And here is the quadcopter, and it is looking pretty nice. Uh, very similar in design to the DJI Mavic Air. So we got another Mavic Air clone toy drone here. Uh, fixed arm quadcopter, not a foldable style. So we'll come back to the quadcopter in a little bit. Here is the remote control that came with it. Very similar looking as well. And here is the prop guards. And I do recommend that you put the prop guards on if you are a beginner to help protect the props and in turn protect the motors. Here is the bag of goodies. And looks like we have just two props and the USB charge cable, uh, some screws here, and that's probably to attach the prop guards onto the quadcopter. And we got a couple of uh, end caps, these silver end caps, just two. So that's the bag of goodies. And we have the instruction manual here. And we also have the addendum to the instruction manual containing the QR code to download your Wi-Fi phone app and this one looks familiar as well it is the HTS UFO app free app downloadable in the App Store so go ahead and check it out so let's go ahead and take a look at the quadcopter up close all right so here is the quadcopter up close we got some LED lights up in the front looking like eyes and right off the bat I can see that the camera is tilt adjustable here and yes thank you very much and oh check it out it goes all the way up and into the quadcopter wow so you can put it all the way up if you want but i'll leave it kind of relatively straight so i can see the horizon very nice of them to do so and uh, we got some landing gear right on the bottom of each of the motors and there's a small little piece of foam attached to it i don't think it contains any led lights there so taking a look at the bottom here we see that there's the wi-fi antenna and here is the battery bay let's go ahead and open it up and here is the battery let's take a look at the battery here looks very familiar like the SEMA X5C type of uh, battery here it's a 3.7 volt 800 milliamp size battery uh, supposed to give you a flight time of about 10 minutes so very nice uh, very available type of battery here so you can buy extra batteries it just comes with one of these batteries here and let's go ahead and close up the battery bay very easy there's a little hole right here take a look at that maybe it might come with a optical sensor perhaps but i think this quadcopter comes in three different variations a regular version a camera version and this wi-fi fpv version uh, and this camera that they are giving us is the 480p camera so it is not the industry standard now the standard i think is the 720p camera so right on the top we have the on and off button right on the top so that is very nice and we also have some led light fixture in the back as well so we got one led light in the back and two led looking like eyes in the front so pretty nice very light and very sturdy because the arms are nice and thick so very nice it's not a foldable style arm so let's go ahead and put that down and take a look at the remote control all right so here is a closer look at the remote control it is looking pretty familiar here are the antennas which you can flip out and rotate uh, but these are non-functional antennas but nevertheless they do look nice when you flip it out there's a couple of shoulder buttons uh, this one here is the speed changing button and on the right we do have the flip button so traditional locations for those two functional buttons and we have a 
stop slash gyro calibration button. So this button is a dual functional button. It is an emergency stop and also it calibrates the gyros at the same time. So that is something new. Here is the right side trim button and here are more trim buttons. Left side, forward and backward trim buttons. And we got the on and off switch here. And we have the Hellas mode button one key to return and we do have a one key to take off and one key to land button as well and on the bottom there is the hidden phone clip so we have seen, seen this type of phone clip before and it will take my iphone 6 plus with a case so that is very nice and i do believe it took uh three double a batteries i put the screws back on there and to arm the motors just raise up the throttle and let go it will arm the motors and also both sticks to the bottom and out will arm the motors as well and to disarm the motors hold the throttle stick all the way to the bottom and it will disarm the motors and both sticks to the bottom and to the right will also calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter all right so let's go for a little demo flight with the fq triple sevens fq 40. All right, we are just about ready to go with the FQ 777's FQ40. I got the quadcopter turned on. I turned on my remote control and it automatically binds so you don't have to do that throttle up and down stuff. And I have my phone here. So I've already connected to the Wi-Fi network of the HTS network. So I'm going to go ahead and start the phone app and let's check it out. Very familiar looking as well. So let's go ahead and start the screen record all right it is started so that is how it looks like so let's go ahead and enter the app and hopefully we connect and yes we got wi-fi fpv and check it out because of the camera angle being straight we are looking at the horizon 50 50 perfect on the wi-fi fpv viewfinder here nice it looks a little bit wavy and the quality is yeah 480p but we do have pretty good response there's no delay on it or latency if you call it that anyways let's go ahead and take some photos so let's go ahead and take some photos with the phone app here and looks like this is the photo button and there we go i have used this app many times before and very recently as well oops one thing i forgot to do is lock the battery bay door in just push it in and clip it in and you lock the battery bay door and let's take a look here let's take some more photos there we go do our usual photo taking and the LED light in the back is red. Okay, so far there's no latency on the FPV feed and we got some clear LED lights looking like eyes in the front. So that is very nice. Let's go ahead and start the video and it is counting down and there's a counter appearing on the left corner. Just making sure my screen is recording. So let's go for a little demo flight and let's see. To calibrate the gyros, just press this button here and check it out. It just calibrated just like that and it's an emergency stop button as well so you can also calibrate it with both sticks to the bottom and to the right that will calibrate it as well all right so we are good to go so let's see what speed we are in okay we're just gonna start off in speed number one so up and down on the throttle arms the motors and holding it down will disarm the motors and both sticks to the bottom and out 
will also arm the motors and both stick to the bottom and out will not disarm the motors so you got to go throttling all the way down that will disarm the motors all right let's check out the one key to take off and one key to land and see if that works there you go it works and that will be the altitude that it calls home so right about a couple of meters off the table I would say maybe a meter and a half or so and it does have a little drift going to the left and to the rear and I did calibrate it on this table the table could have been a little bit slanted so I'm gonna go ahead and use the trim buttons to make it hover in a stationary position because there is no wind absolutely none at this moment and there is the hover for you all right very nice hover and look at that yawing in one spot as well so very nice and those LED lights in the front is super bright and I am able to see the LED light in the back until right about now I can't see anything but the ones in the front yeah you th those things are really bright you can really see them from far away and check it out it is a smooth flyer and this is speed number one this thing flies nice I can tell right away it has no latency whatsoever and we do have the Wi-Fi phone app turned on so they're sharing the 2.4 gigahertz frequency but this has no problem whatsoever and look at that the yaw is pretty tight on speed number one too I'm already liking this quadcopter let's go to speed number two okay Okay, y'all got faster. And we got a little bit deeper pitch. Oh wow, this is a nice one guys. Okay, speed number three. Oh yeah, look at that. You got even faster. Nice. not bad very nice little quadcopter behavior is very very nice there's a flip for you all directional flips awesome perfect so far okay let's see the headless mode okay that's the forward and this is back going to the right going to the left coming back and the quadcopter is facing to the left and it will function just as well that is headless mode so it doesn't matter which way the quadcopter is facing headless mode means that you can go forward you can come back as long as you are standing in this direction all right let's put the quadcopter in a spin and push it forward and it'll do the same thing look at that that is headless mode for you going to the left going to the right and this thing is performing very well so far all right let's get out of the headless mode and check out the one key to return all right let's go ahead and hit that one key to return it should come back towards my location and it'll keep on going until you redirect it with the pitch and roll stick or let's see if it works with the button two okay okay it's coming back towards my direction and if I hit that button, yeah, it will get out of the one key to return. And it just came down because I pulled the throttle all the way down. Oh, okay. So here, be warned, don't pull the throttle all the way down. It will cut the motors off. Ooh. Okay, let me try and do that again. I'm the motors. Hopefully I'm recording hopefully I'm still recording on the screen record okay so let's go ahead and ooh, one of the motors are not spinning oh I got some kind of debris in there hopefully the motor didn't break there we go all right okay let's put it right over here and let me go ahead and pull the throttle all the way down no it comes down to a little landing so I don't know what that was all about 
Let's go ahead and restart. Hopefully I didn't touch that emergency stop button. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and check out the one key to land. And it is kind of drifting away from me a little bit. One key to land. And it comes down by itself and the motors shut off. Okay, so I don't know what that was. It just came down from the sky. So be careful. Let's go ahead and put it back on the table and I'm going to recalibrate the gyros by pressing this button here. All right, so let's see if the emergency stop button works. Okay, let me go ahead and hit this emergency stop. And look at that. It just comes crashing down to the ground. The motors turn off and then it comes crashing down to the ground. So emergency stop is only when you are in desperation mode and the quadcopter is maybe flying away from you or ready to hit a tree or something like that and you can't control it and you just hit that button to save your quadcopter and let it just drop to the ground. All right, so let's go ahead and restart. Okay, there you go. The hover is pretty nice. I'm gonna go down to speed number one and see if I can do some FPV. We got altitude hold, so I can just go forward, turn around, and check it out. Even though it has the 480p camera, I'm able to FPV. Okay, it's going that way, so let me go ahead and turn around and see if I can get myself in the shot here. Oh, there it is. Or there I am. <laughs> okay, passing over me, going towards my left, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, turning around and coming back towards me. And you can FPV with this thing very nicely, too. That is awesome. Where am I? There I am. All right. Oh, that is nice. You can FPV really good with this one. And you can tilt the camera angle up too. So you can compensate for that tilt angle when you forward pitch. This is awesome. There I am. Oh, if you want a nice Wi-Fi FPV quadcopter, this is nice. Too bad it has 480p camera though. Okay, where am I now? There I am. Very easy to fly. Okay, it should be going away from me. Oh, this is awesome guys. Very nice quadcopter. And letting go of the sticks, I'm seeing half horizon and half sky so that is nice pretty nice all right let's raise it up there's a train passing by and let's see if i can get the train let me go up in altitude a little bit more and i think i got the train on the view there and a part of the lake and i haven't oh there's a small little freeze right there i think Maybe it was just a bump, but I have no freeze at all. Where is the train? Okay, let me go ahead and bring it down. And I still got control here. Oh, going off a little bit, coming down. Okay, let me come down in altitude. There I am. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a disconnect here and there, but I can see it way up there. And that's pretty far. And being able to still fly around with FPV, that is pretty damn decent. There it is. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and bring it in. And it's got pretty decent amount of flight time as well. Man, this is another nice Wi-Fi FPV quad. A perfect beginner quadcopter, guys. Yep. Or just add another 
quadcopter to your collection because this one flies really really nice and I'm flying it in speed number one that is just awesome and so far I don't see the lights flashing yep the lights are not flashing and I can see the eyes and there we go ah oh, very nice okay let me go ahead and bring it in for a landing super nice okay brought it in for a landing and holding the throttle down and the motors turn off what I wanted to do was I wanted to increase the tilt angle just a little bit I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit and check it out like that all right so let's arm the motors okay all right so I'm pitching forward and I still got horizon I can still see sky and there I am it's much easier to FPV because you're forward pitching and you're going forward and you are still able to see sky that is awesome so all quadcopter makers should take a note and give us adjustable angle cameras not a fixed one shooting the ground and that is just awesome it's going away from me on my left and I'm gonna go ahead and turn around man this thing is awesome okay trying to look for myself here I think I'm just circling around myself kind of okay where am I oh I am over there and it's slowly coming down and it has landed so I think maybe perhaps now we have reached the end of the battery life let me go ahead and stop the recording and also let me go ahead and stop my screen recording all right have done that so let's go ahead and retrieve the quadcopter and yes the lights are blinking in the back and the lights in the front are blinking as well all right so that is the battery life of the fq 777's fq40 all right so here we go once again and this time around i'm going to fly the quadcopter with just the wi-fi phone app i got it turned on i did not connect it yet so it is blinking away so let me go ahead and start my screen recording i have the phone app turned on and i'm connected because i have wi-fi fpv on my phone here through the app as you can see there we go and i still have the camera slightly tilted upwards so i'm going to hit this on and off that will bring up the virtual sticks and i'm going to hit that altitude hold and that should bring up a bunch of other stuff like one key to take off and one key to land emergency stop we got the voice control and now you can see that the light is solid so we have connection here so let's go and check out what speed we are in off the bat we have low speed let's go to medium and let's go to high right away and let's check it out with some virtual sticks so let's go ahead and take off wait a minute one thing let's calibrate the gyros and i believe this one here was to calibrate the gyros there you go the lights are blinking and we have calibrated the gyros so let's go ahead and check it out with this one kilo takeoff and one kilo land first let's go ahead and start the recording once again so we have screen recording and we have dvr recording let's hit this one kilo takeoff there we go taking off automatically by itself and come to a hover and i'm moving the sticks pretty much all the way and that is the full pitch in the highest speed 100 percent speed and it is a little bit docile so it's good for beginners to fly around with the phone app there we go let me go ahead and see if i can fly it around there we go and it's pretty decent too yeah the response is really nice well check it out you can fly pretty good with the wi-fi phone app 
So supposedly we have 50 meter distance with the phone app control. So you don't want to go too far and check it out. Nice. I have another battery from my SEMA days. I don't know how good this battery is, so let's go ahead and make it fast. Some of them I've been using for my all-in-one VTXs, so it does have very limited amount of battery life. So let's go ahead and check out the gyro mode. So we are in the gyro mode, and I'm controlling the quadcopter with the tilting action of my phone, and it is responding very well indeed. There you go. Going forward, fighting the wind, coming back towards me. Going, oh wow, this is nice. And we got altitude hold, so you don't have to worry about the throttle. You don't have to put any thumb on your phone while you're trying to tilt it. And that could be a mess. So altitude hold is nice on these quadcopters. All right, so let's get out of the altitude hold. And let me bring it in here right in front of us kind of slow to re-respond to my sticks but here we go i got control back with my virtual sticks let's go check out the flight planner i'm gonna draw a line forward and there you go it's going forward draw a line to the side here draw a line the opposite way and that is responding pretty good it kind of stutters a little bit as you can see there okay but it does work very nicely Going to the right, going forward. All right, so going to the left, going to the right, going forward, coming back, going forward. All right, let me get out of that flight planner and retake control with the virtual sticks and that is working very nicely as well. So one thing left to do is check out the voice control. So let's go ahead and land it with the one key to land and it comes down safely and lands itself and the motors turn off very very nice so far let me double check to make sure i'm screen recording all right we are screen recording so we're going to hit that voice command and i believe it's take off land forward backward turn left turn right all right so let's go ahead and check it out i'm going to go to speed number two or 50 percent to check this out so let's go ahead and take off and let's place the quadcopter so that is my full pitch on 50 percent rate let me hit that voice control forward 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 right turn turn right both ways it works land check it out landing Take off. Take off. Forward. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Let me raise it up in altitude a little bit more. Forward. 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 Turn right. It doesn't go for very long, so I'm going to raise it up. Turn right. Turn right forward forward turn right turn right forward 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 yeah you can control this thing with your voice com commands land T check it out landing nice everything works on this clock out there very very impressive take off forward turn right turn left backwards backwards forwards turn right turn right turn right turn right forward 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 turn right land nice all right 
All right, I got another battery in there, so let's go ahead and test out the fail-safe situation. So let's arm the motors. Okay, let's see what happens when I turn off the remote control. Turned it off. And a couple seconds later, it comes down to a landing and the motors turn off. Very nice. Let's see what happens if I have a forward pitch. Let me go ahead and turn on the remote control. We are reconnected. As you can see, the lights are solid. So let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, let me forward pitch and then turn it off. And let's see what happens. Look at that. It still comes down to a nice soft landing. It doesn't continue on its path. So you will not have a flyaway situation. Very, very nice. Reconnecting. And we are able to reconnect and rebind and go about flying the quadcopter. So if it goes out of distance, run after it and you will connect back and you can regain control of your quadcopter. Very, very nice. Nice. I am loving this quadcopter. Oh, look at that pitch. Yeah. Want to see that again? Woohoo! A little speed pass. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nice. Little rear flip on the fly. Uh, kind of a stall there, but nevertheless, very, very nice. Let's see. I'm going to go and check out its distance now. All right. Oh, wow. That's beyond about 100 meters, and I still got control of it, and I'm flying back. So it has a very good distance too on this one awesome all right i think that's pretty good and let's go ahead and bring it in for a landing but this thing is such a pleasure to fly for a toy quad that I want to keep on flying it. There you go, on the fly flips. Oops. Oh, it doesn't want to do a flip now. Okay, I see that the lights are blinking. So let's go ahead and bring it in. Yeah, once it hits the LVC state, you will not be able to do flips. All right, so let's go ahead and land it and call it a day. There we go. All right, just got done checking out the FQ777's FQ40 and flown it with the hard remote and with the hard remote with the Wi-Fi phone app turned on as well as with just the phone and the Wi-Fi phone app and it performed flawlessly. This thing is an awesome quadcopter. You can do Wi-Fi FPV with this thing and it has awesome distance as well. The only downside to this quadcopter is the fact that it has the 480p quality FPV camera but other than that this thing is just an awesome quadcopter guys. So there you have it my review and test flight of the FQ777's FQ40. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.